Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Everybody loves BBW, that's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I say, hey, make sure y'all check out the merch though, all right? Yeah, it is. Everybody loves BBW.com. Make sure you go get your stuff today. Mm -hmm. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Red zone, baby. We back for another week, dog. We, uh, last week we had some old tub. Old, right? tub. old tub. So we did, we did some bargain, some, some bargain hunting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we back. On the bargain shelf with the Rebel Yell 100, all right? So the Rebel Yell 100 no, was... No, just Rebel 100. It's still Rebel Yell. Uh, it's still Rebel Yell. It's still yeah. Rebel Yell. But I'm going to give you a one-up on the old tub, though. This was only $21.95. Okay. This was $3 less than the old tub. You feel me? <laughs> so this is also 100 proof. Now, how I got hip to Rebel or Rebel Yell, when we was down in Tennessee, I bought like a, I don't know, like a gallon of Rebel, <laughs> Rebel Yell for like... Seventeen dollars. No, it was something crazy. I thought it you were about to say niggas was broke. No, it was super cheap. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, niggas was broke. Yeah, yeah, it was super cheap, dog. Got a big ass bottle. So I remember calling y'all, um, both of y'all actually telling y'all like, yo, y'all ever heard of Rebel Yell? And y'all obviously y'all had heard of it before. So I was just like, all right, uh, I'm gonna try it. So uh I tried it and it was decent. So then I get up here and I find a hundred proof expression of Rebel Yell. So that's what we're working on today, dog. Uh, Angry Principal, we want to pop the cork so we see what this uh, cork sounded like today. Okay. Also for the cork. Yeah, yeah, it's a little better. Yeah, it's a little better. It's, like, it's a real cork. Though. That shit like, was like, like a premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit was like... What? <laughs> wow. Pause. <laughs> pause for the cork. Pause for everything. <laughs> Just pause the show. <laughs> All right, so again, I've had uh, I've actually had the Rebel uh, 100, so we'll see what everybody else thinks. Though. I don't know. I don't know. See you on that. I'm skeptical. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm skeptical right now. Yeah. Skeptical of the uh, the price or Yebel Re Yebel <laughs> Rebel Yell itself. Like Rebel Yell itself. You okay. know, this is this from some experiences that I have. I'm, I'm I skeptical. You. you know. I got you. So it's a it's kind of a classic kind of thing though. Nothing really stands out. I guess it might be a little bit more vanilla than than caramel, I guess. A little Maybe, bit more. yeah. I'll get some vanilla. Yeah, see, this Ooh. is off the rip. You can smell the ethanol in this one. Is <laughs> it the ethanol? <laughs> this shit is straight up. Just Not the ethanol, no. Alcohol. <laughs> this is straight corn. All this alcohol. That's just all this Somebody is. brewed this in the tub. <laughs> Damn, that just hit my nose. Like, it, but it's uh, the notes. The notes are strong. The 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 yes. taste itself not as strong. Right, but I'm sitting here gasping <laughs> for air. <laughs> See, the gas mask right. to sniff this up. But yeah, I I like it though. So this is this is one that I've I've uh, I've obviously done before. Um, I think for for the price rate, I'm like I'm super okay with it. Now, obviously, everybody knows me. Everybody knows that my hundred proof go-to for inexpensive bourbons uh is uh evan williams but i actually like this like this is this is my joint like i, I fucks with it now from the faces of my <laughs> cohorts i'm not feeling like it's the same situation so angry principal what is it that's on your mind right now because your face is saying a million words it's just a lot of <laughs> a lot of alcohol a lot of alcohol of <laughs> like you remember a whole how, lot of money in this mind. The Dukes of Hazzard used to run their moonshine in their car. Dog. Oh, that's what this smells like. This is it's strong. Definitely what it smells like. Strong. I mean that it just and even after a few couple minutes of sitting wow. here, it's still that smell, it's still, still hitting me in my nose. So yeah, I, it's this is it's like <laughs> but it's got the flavors in it. It's got the, the flavors classic though. Bourbon flavors yeah, in it there. Does. It's just a lot of alcohol on top of it. 
Bo, what you think, bro? Um. <laughs> now this is is this void of your original Rebel Yell experience? It or is. Or is this all inclusive? No, this, this, okay. this is void of it. Um, okay. <laughs> so for me, man, it, it's like, have you guys had instant coffee before? It's add hot water. Duh. Nope. <laughs> I've had it. This is like instant bourbon. <laughs> add alcohol. Uh. Just add alcohol. Yeah. It's um, I I mean, yes, you get some initial bourbon notes and things mm. like that, man. But like, to me, it, it's not even like a hug. It's just all, just like alcohol, right just there. like burn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just up front, right? Gotcha. And for me, like, I'm good. Yeah. You know, and, 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 that's, thing. and that's kind of what I remember from it, right? You, you know, so like it, it would be like, so my, my my veterans out there, y'all can relate to this. Sometimes you know you go to the class six store and you just want to get fucked up, and you see the military military special shit there for yes, like you, you said know, this about yeah, something else. Yeah. The military, so like, special, military shit. special was the brand <laughs> yeah. where like if a fifth usually costs twenty dollars, like a gallon would cost like ten. You know what I mean? Damn. So. We go ahead and get the military. This is some shit I would get the military special love, right? It's because I'm trying to get fucked up that night. Yeah, I'm, and that's what it is. I'm sorry, you. Rebel Yell, Rebel. I'm just being honest. Yeah, I figured that. You know? Now, for me, again, like I said, I experienced Rebel Yell, like the original Rebel Yell, which I think is uh, maybe 90 proof or something like that. I found mm -hmm. this 100 proof. And, I like again, I, I like it. And I think it's probably because it's more so the price point than anything else. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times... Uh, if I if I am going to the rebel, like I am on that I am on that tip. You on yeah yeah. Trying to get fucked up. Trying to get fucked up. I'm on that tip, right? Because like if I want, like, it can be good for that. If that's what you want for. It's definitely good for yeah. that. If I want, when I'm looking for an inexpensive hundred proof, then you know me. Normally I go with the uh, Evan Williams. But if I'm just trying to like I'm trying to get there. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and grab the rebel. This, this will get you there. Yeah, it it's definitely gets you. On the initial sniff, it's gonna get you. <laughs> Dog, say I got all ethanol, all corn. He said he ain't smell no vanilla, no <laughs> caramel, <laughs> little, all alcohol. Yeah. Uber driver, like get the fuck out. You here? <laughs> you here? Get out. Get out. You here? So, this seems like it's gonna be a rather quick one. Dog, <laughs> uh, you've already heard the preliminary analysis, dog. So what we're gonna do is real quick. We're gonna go to commercial break, but when we get back. We're going to go ahead and give it our rating system, one to five Black Power Fist. We're going to let you know where we ranked the Rebel Yell 100 proof, dog, as soon as we get back. Till then, you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. It's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Now, I'm man, too much. Angry Prince Boy and Bo in the building. I say. I too much. Don't say you pour too much. I say. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Hey, we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks. Don't forget, man, to check out our merchandise at everybodylovesbbw.com. You get your hats, t-shirts, glasses, mugs, all kind of shit, man. Make sure you check us that out. the fuck you want. So we back in the building, man. <laughs> <laughs> Angry principal and Bo back in the building. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 4205. Because dog obviously said we get whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and he meant that shit. You get whatever the fuck you want, dog. <laughs> well, Bo, what you say, dog? Duh. One, one to five black powerfuls, dog. What you give me? I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a solid two, right? Yeah. Um, the flavor. Give it, hey, give it whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> so the flavor profile, it, oh, it, for me, it leaves a lot to be desired, man. It's just like straight up alcohol up front, maybe some bourbon notes, some maple, maybe some vanilla, maybe some pears, some shit. But like other than oh, that, yeah, man, it, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's like. Alcohol, nigga. Drink me. Thank you, man. You know what I mean? It's like, this is what it is, bro. You know what I mean? We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. You pick, my nigga, right? So you said two. Hey, so I'm, I'm going to give it a solid two. Solid two. Yeah. Hey, your principal, what you say, This bro? is definitely some Southern boys out on the porch talking about, we going to get fucked up. <laughs> right. That's, That's what, what this is. Hey. Oh, God. If, this is... if a Dodge Charger 
was a drink, it would be this. <laughs> How about that shit? Don't be coming up with the analogies, bro. How about that shit? If a Dodge Charger was a drink, it would be this right here. If it, this is, this is if running a Dodge your Charger racing a four <laughs> 500 was a drink, that's an inside joke. Bo know what I'm talking about now. Yes. If it's a Charger racing a four 500, this is that. Initially, that four 500 might running, get up a little bit. Running red lights. But <laughs> we almost died. That's a whole other story. All right, fuck it. That's a whole other story. Indianapolis anyway. police. I don't know what the fuck this nigga talking about, okay? <laughs> I have no clue what he's talking about, Indianapolis police. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, though, so uh, <laughs> that's, a story, that, that's a story for off camera. Uh, so, right. so, <laughs> so, yeah, what I'm going to give this a two. Yeah. Uh, the flavors are there. The price is there. Oh. Definitely the price is Definitely there. Definitely the price is there. Price is there. Yeah. Yeah. Also, just know you can get a lot of alcohol in the For sure. Oh. It is. It yes. just takes away from all the fun of drinking this. So gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, I dig that. I'm a uh, from from personal experience. I'm gonna give it a two point five. Uh, I like the fact that it gets you there. I think this is one of those drinks that you you have to choose wisely. Uh, if you if you choose this drink, then you gotta know what it's doing. I think that once you pop the cork and smell it, you know what's you know what's going on. You're not getting uh, no foreplay. No, there ain't no foreplay. This is straight to the point. This is straight to the point, dog. Um, but I do, I do like the the classic notes, and I think that there's a big enough punch in the beginning uh, to make it like you know, like close to some of the bourbons that I drink that are a little bit more expensive. So I do like that aspect, and I think that again, if you're drinking with someone who is a little a little bit less experienced, I think this may be one of the nice steps up for them that doesn't taste too sweet, but actually tastes like a bourbon with the with the higher proof, uh, but will actually get you to. Where you trying to go? So get you drunk. Yeah, get you drunk. <laughs> I think that's the bottom line, right? So, so for me, though, I'm gonna give it a 2.5. I think it's one of those ones that I, I keep around, just like the Evan Williams, uh, some of those, uh, you know, some of the lower level brands uh, with the higher proof. So I'm gonna go with that. So, so, so you having a party? Oh yeah, have this around. Oh hell yeah! Oh, it's turn up. Out. It's turn up time. Give it out to everybody. Because as long as it's not at your house. You got to be at somebody else's house, okay? <laughs> not at your house, okay? Because we about to get back to drinking, dog. Uh, Rebel Yell, I think, like I say, I think it's a thing that, that I kind of like because it's some shit that I got hip to on a Friday night, just getting blowed and shit. So 100 proof is good for me. It's not a lot of hug to it, though, so it's a nice little bite. So I'm cool with that. And it, it's going to get you to where you're trying to go at $21.99. I can't beat that shit, though. No, you feel me? No, you're going to get fucked up for $22. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So on that note, dog, we up out of here. Make sure you uh, pull up to the website, www. Uh, what's that shit? <laughs> Everybody loves BBW.com. <laughs> yes, man. Till the next time, you already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man, Angry Principal, off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man, Bo, in the building. I like big, beautiful women, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Quit fucking playing. <laughs> Sweet spot 70, you know what it is, man. <laughs>